everybody, so last last time I made a video about Mercari, the Mercari app, it was about 10 months ago and it's still one of my most commented videos. People still um, frequently comment asking me specific questions about the app and how to use it, how to sell and stuff like that. So I thought it would be a good idea to update you guys with my experience now that I've been selling for almost a year on the app. I know selling on the Mercari app can be a little bit daunting, especially like when I tried downloading it on my new phone, I saw that on iTunes it had about like less than one star out of five stars. And so it seems like it's just like an app that wants to scam you, but I can tell you from my one year of experience, it's been pretty okay. You just have to watch out and like know how to use it. That's my big thing. Since I last made the video, um, Mercari back then didn't charge any selling fee and now it charges a 10% fee, which is not bad in my opinion compared to let's say Poshmark. I feel like by now Mercari did a really good job at weeding out scammers um, and also people who use the codes a lot. like. They just relied on codes and like, yeah, I get free $200 with this code, which is a lie. You can only get $2. They get $2 and you get $2. I'm going to talk about the things that are they still remain the same. I still use the scale to weigh things. I still use poly mailers. I still use the free boxes provided by USPS website. So since last summer, my sales have gone down a significant amount. Like before. Like when I first made the video 10 months ago, I think I was selling 20 items a week and now I sell about like once every two weeks if I'm lucky. Now one thing I learned is that you can offer, that I didn't know back then, and it was that you can offer free shipping but it's still using the Mercari shipping. So let's say you're selling an item for $3 but the shipping is $6, you sell the item for It'll say $9 free shipping, but you'll still get charged 10% for the $9 instead of just the $3, if that makes sense. But in total, um, I haven't had any problems with Mercari. I only had one problem at the beginning while I was selling, and someone tried to um, get a refund while still having received the item because they supposedly never received it, but I contacted the post office, and they confirmed that the person received it, and mysteriously the person received the item the next day, which um, that was my only problem, but everything has been smooth um, so far, it'll still be. Now I'm going to go on to the comment section of my previous video and I'm going to answer the most frequently asked questions. If you have questions after this video, you can um, still ask them and I'll answer them as my best to my ability. First question was how do I get paid for the item? And you get paid after they rate you and they tr they de you can request them to deposit it into your bank account by the way which you do need a bank account um, but if you don't have a bank account uh, you will just you can use the credits within the app you'll never actually get real money you'll just have the credits if you want to buy other stuff they deposit for free into your bank account when it's ten dollars and over but if it's less than ten dollars they charge you a two dollar deposit best priority mail needs stamps and no, you do not need stamps for priority mail. That's what the shipping label is for. You just put it on the box and as long as it's the weight on there, you should be good. How do you get the person's information to ship the items? And the way you get the information is that when they purchase it, uh, it'll say on the shipping label, it'll automatically create, when you click create shipping label, it'll automatically show up on there. So you don't have to worry about that. Most of the comments on my previous video, they were mainly about the shipping labels and they were scared they were going to get charged if they went to the post office. You're not meant to get charged unless you're, um, the post, the clerk is very, um, specific. Let's say it, it, it's eight ounces and the shipping label says eight ounces, but when you go to post office, they wait and it says nine ounces. If they're really, uh, precise about that, they will charge you extra or they will charge uh, the buyer. So you just have to be careful about that and make sure you're within the weight range. You know, people are scared because of how the app started, but I feel like by now everything has calmed down. It's just people buying and selling, just like you would buy and sell on eBay. And Mercari, like I said in the beginning of this video, that they did a really good job in weeding out all the scammers and people um, selling fake stuff. 
there's still people out there when occasionally I see them on the feed. But other than that, everything has been good. If you have any questions, I will totally answer them as fast as possible. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful to you.